this uh, new future album, it's not good. I started off this not good segment off with an apology. In my last future review, I had come away from the album, the self-titled record, uh, kind of indifferent, and said future is one of the most uninventive and unadventurous rappers and artists out there in hip hop right now because he's so predictable. He doesn't push himself outside his comfort zone. He doesn't uh, take any risks. You know, the, the thing is, he proved me wrong with this album. <laughs> And God, I wish he didn't. This this Hendrix album over here, it brings a little bit of context and a little bit of meaning to the self-titled record. Uh, not only is that album, again, you know, pretty uh, unadventurous by future standards, but it's a pretty one-dimensional album, too, with many of the songs being, uh, I guess, of the more aggressive set that future usually puts together. Uh, Hendrix is the sad, syrupy, smooth, trying to be sexy, soulful, R&B flavored sister album to self-titled. Future's going a little easier on this one. This is a more sensual future. He's singing a little bit more on this one. The, the, the beats are a little bit more, you know, atmospheric, prettier. He's taking more of a ballad approach to some of these songs too. There's just, there's just one problem with that though. I know these vocals might sound good in a world where habitually drinking cough syrup is a good idea, but over here in reality, that's what we call bad singing. And that bad singing is all over this album. It's one thing for Future to mask the fact that he's a mediocre rapper by uh, not only mumbling his lyrics so they're nearly indiscernible, and then making his, his words even harder to decipher by slathering his vocals in auto-tune so you kind of get those warbly little manipulations as he kind of stumbles from one word to the next. But the thing is, the, the auto-tune doesn't hide the fact that he, he, he's not a good singer. The way his voice strains and and sounds even goofier uh, when he's, uh, you know, <laughs> really, really trying to pull out those emotions, man. You know, this isn't an entirely new future or anything. I mean, we've heard a, a more luxurious, more sensual future in the past on songs like uh, Rich Sex and uh, Turn On The Lights. But this, to my knowledge, is the first time he's come together with a full project of songs that are in this this style, take this tone. And this album's even longer than, than the last album Future just dropped a week ago. So this is over an hour of, of a more sexy, passionate future. The problem is when, when you dive into the lyrics on this thing, Future isn't really taking that different of a tone than he's taken with his past projects. I mean, maybe he's leaning a little harder on some of the, you know, love interests on this story, but when he muses about these women who he meets with, it's not like he he's getting to know any of them significantly, or at least he's not putting any details of that into these songs. He's just kind of sleeping around, playing the field, which is cool, but he tries to put this romantic veneer over it with all these really horrible, cliched lyrics that uh, are, are not really that thoughtful. Case in point, on the song Hallucinating, he routinely brags in the chorus here about uh, uh, <laughs> seducing women with uh, uh, Aston Martins and Rolls Royces because God knows it's, it's not his singing voice that's bringing him over. Also, this lyric over here, I could turn a stripper to a diva, chinchilla on her, that's a pita. My reviewer side of me doesn't really have anything to say about that, but my inner vegan says, fuck you. But I'm not really that mad because the song Sorry at the very end of the album, I know this track is not about me, but I took it as a, a personal apology for having heard the album all the way through. And as long as we're talking about lyrics and Future's more romantic side on this album, take the uh, track My Collection, for example, which kicks the album off, which has a wonderful sentiment in the chorus. Uh, talking about how uh, if, if, if he has sexual relations with a woman, essentially she becomes part of his collection. It's uh, kind of stalkery. Oh damn, I miss, I miss this gem over here. Standing on black socks, meet me at the yacht dock, icing out the clock, watch bitches on my cock. What's even funnier is that this rap genius annotation seems to think this is clever. Whoa, you said clock and watch in the same bar? Like a clock watch, jewels on it, iced out. 
Future's just a regular wordsmith. Case in point on the song Damage, uh, we have a beautiful set of uh, bars over here. A couplet, if you will. Uh, I, I ain't had sex in a whole week just so you can get to know me. Future, putting off those sexual relations to sort of uh, uh, get to know this woman in a more emotional uh, sense in a more intimate sense, uh, but then I guess they get right into the sex thing right after because uh, in the in the following two bars, Future says, "Gushy gush, so soaky, I put it in, go so deep, motherfuck, how far you come over here and get the write up." I can't think of four words that would end sex faster than "gushy gush, so soaky." If anybody's willing to uh, you know take one for the team and do a bit of a social experiment in the middle of sex, just gushy gush so soaky or maybe if you write erotic fan fiction or something or uh, you know some some of those really hot and heavy romance novels and just <laughs> her, her vagina was gushy gush so soaky and this is what happens when future actually writes lyrics I mean we have other songs over here like fresh air for example the song is mostly refrain and chorus. The verses are so short on this thing, it's like he's barely even trying to write anything. But, you know, that's the album from a lyrical perspective, I guess. Future, future the underrated lyricist. So lyrically, the, the album is really trashy. And, you know, sonically, I guess I can get behind some of the instrumentals, but only if there was a better rapper or singer on them. The thing about Future doing an album like this is that he's terrible at singing, he's terrible at writing lyrics that invoke any kind of feelings of love or intimacy or romance or sensuality. How his voice could even set the mood for anybody, I don't know because it's so goofy. <laughs> Truth be told, future songs where he goes in this direction are some of his worst tracks, some of his most boring tracks, and he's decided to come out with those kinds of songs for over an hour, which of course is going to make this his worst record. This is not good. It's not good. Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just just get get angry in the comments if you're angry. F future. Hendrix. Uh, eat your fruits and vegetables forever.